Uh, it is consistent. Like, I feel like random Tuesday, Thursday, it's 2 p.m. Every Tuesday, Thursday. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Every other fucking day, too. <laughs> Lengthy film sessions or just because you were breaking it up and what was. Oh, that was an NBA referees meeting. Oh. Yeah. yeah. What are they, the, the new, some of the new rules, what are they emphasizing? What are you thinking? Um, emphasize flopping, emphasizing D3, emphasizing uh, the sweep through, so just cleaning up the game. Um, I don't really care what the rules are, I just want to play by them and then find gray areas to manipulate them. And so I think the refs do a great job. I think they have one of the hardest jobs, uh, you know, especially being in a close game and, you know, uh, you know, when you're on when you're at on the road, only one team hates you. When you're a ref, both teams don't like you. So like, I, I appreciate what they do and know how hard it is. And uh, it's just whatever the rules are, we'll play by. It's like having Rondo around. Uh, yeah, I mean, just building off of having Paul here, having Leon Poe and those, Antoine Walker and those guys. Like, the more we can create an open space for um, the guys that came before us and gave us an opportunity to do what we do, I think it's important to have. So. I've always had respected him as a player. He's got a great basketball mind and grateful that he's here. And I know the guys appreciate it too. What do you think of the Mayus's performance yesterday and obviously Wynion uh, and no net? Is that kind of an affirmation of what he's capable of? Yeah, I mean, it's always tough to see guys go. And I thought Wynion gave us everything he had and uh, brought a great attitude and a spirit and a competitiveness to, to training camp. And so it's tough to see that. And, um, you know, as far as Q goes, like I thought he, he's done a great job of picking up our defensive schemes and our fives are really, really important in our defense because of the versatility that they have and the different matchups that we have. And he's done a really good job of that. And you just got to continue to get better. The 22 steals yesterday, you guys didn't rank very high last year in forcing turnovers. What is that our product of, the amount of turnovers you've been able to force early so far? Yeah, I mean, I thought yesterday was like um, – an epitome of like what we need our shot margin to look like. Um, you know, we won the shot margin. We, we we lost the free throw battle a little bit, but I think that'll happen as we work on our shift activity and our ball pressure. Um, but you know, we were able to. We saw last year a lot was like we didn't outshoot our opponents, but we still won. And so we have to eliminate uh, the luck or the percentage at times with our shooting. And we have to create easy baskets, whether it's with offensive rebounding or forcing turnovers and, and deflections. And so we had 22 steals, 24 turnovers, 26 deflections, and those lead to easier baskets. And so I think the correlation of like our shot margin and our defensive activity and our offensive rebounding is an area of growth for our team from last year and something that we have to continue. Is it mostly scheme? Is it the personnel you have? Like, what do you think is going to allow you guys to be better at that? Oh, I think it's both. I think it's our personnel and I think it's scheme. And I think you, like I said, I looked at look at every box score from last year. We got outshot, but because of our shot quality, we won more games than, than not. And it's like when we didn't shoot well, we lost. And it's like, how can you still have a high shot quality at the same time take out the, if we don't make shots, we're not going to win. And it's, and it's by, you know, creating extra possessions through offensive rebounding and forcing turnovers. And, um, you know, our roster uh, gives us the opportunity to do both of those things defensively. And uh, we just got to keep at it. What's your communication level with you know, Brad in the front office there in terms of where you guys are at? Like, yeah, what do you tell them and then what you know, opportunities that might pop up around the league? Uh, I mean, you know, Brad's great at what he does, so we have conversations daily about what we're thinking. But, you know, we have perfect alignment. We know what our team needs. We have a good understanding of uh, the players that we need in our organization, and we just kind of make those decisions as we go along. What is the plan for this time between now and the opener? Uh, enjoy it. Off day tomorrow and then get after it for the next uh, two, three days before the game. And then um, regardless of how game one goes, not get caught up because it's a long season and we have objectives that we need to work on. And um, But it's really important that we continue this uh, identity and momentum that we have of what we want to become as a team and an organization and we keep that going throughout the season. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Very well shot.